Being able to collaborate effectively is a valuable 21st century skill. Yet teaching and learning through collaboration are not mainstreamed practices in the school system. Mainstreaming collaborative learning requires its integration into a wider transformation program linked to 21st century learning priorities at pan-European and national level, as well as at school level. Collaboration in education should also be considered as an ecosystem, whose key factors are a shared vision and a common understanding of the meaning and value of collaborative practices. To develop this ecosystem, practitioners and policymakers need a dedicated space to experiment, discuss and better understand what collaboration means. The CoLab project aimed to provide a platform to support this dialogue. The partners of the project were ministries of education, teacher training organizations or research institutes from six countries. Austria, Belgium, Flanders, Estonia, Ireland, Poland and Portugal. At national level, the dialogue involved national and local authorities, teachers training organizations, school councils, head teachers, teachers and students. Central to this dialogue was to identify the key benefits, challenges and enablers to integrate collaborative learning in policy and practice, and its results led to the definition of these recommendations. CoLab recommendations provide actionable guidelines to implement collaborative learning and teaching in schools to be adapted to different contexts. The recommendations are organized in four levels. Policy making, teachers training, school and classroom. At policy level, collaborative learning implementation must be aligned with the overall educational transformation program, making explicit reference to collaborative learning as a priority and part of this vision. In order to change classroom practice, this vision needs to be supported by well-defined and clear policies and by changes to school inspection, curriculum and assessment methods. Head teachers need to be motivated to encourage and support the implementation of collaborative learning in their schools. In this sense, embedding collaboration at school can be considered as part of the investment in high-quality educational leadership. Policymakers need to work with universities, training institutions and curriculum experts to review the role of collaboration and the methods to implement it within the school system, including the assessment component. Creating and making accessible examples of good practices shared through open repositories is also very important. At training level, all the relevant stakeholders should be involved in joint workshops to emphasize the integrated approach required to implement collaboration at school. As for teachers, training should be based on a very practical approach, organized in short bursts, building up confidence and skills in short steps, with examples and periods for trialing and reflection. It is important to incentivize teachers to take part in online training on these topics to increase their motivation. This can be done introducing official recognition for online training, supporting content co-creation of educational resources and showcasing the results. At school level, the role of the head teacher is critical to the adoption of collaborative learning as a school-wide approach. In this sense, collaboration needs to be integrated in the vision, the culture and the broad educational strategy of the school. To implement collaborative learning as part of a transformation program at school level, the leadership needs to encourage a culture of openness for innovation. It is also important to put in place concrete actions such as buddy and mentoring systems between experts and beginners and to actively support teachers, providing them with the space and time to introduce these changes, endorsing and recognizing their additional efforts. Parents also need to be on board with this change in the school culture. Schools can include collaborative learning as part of the briefing to parents on the school vision and development plan explaining the positive impacts of these skills on student motivation and for their future work. It is also fundamental to collaborate outside of the school with other schools and networks at regional, central and international level to support the exchange of best practices and knowledge and the creation of a wider community of practice. As for learning activities, changing and improving teaching methods can require a great effort by teachers and students. In this sense, collaborative learning should be implemented as a series of small steps, allowing time to change and to build confidence, gradually adding it into the mix of the teaching practice. It is also important to reflect on what these changes mean, both for teachers and students, and their teaching and learning styles. At classroom level as well, collaborative learning has to be seen as a process and not as a product. 
Teachers should involve students in the introduction of the new learning approaches. Teachers and students should work together also in designing the learning activities and their assessment. Finally, to support this innovation process, it is also vital for teachers to team up with peers to help and support with planning and creating resources, developing peer review and group reflection activities. No matter what your role in the education system is, we hope that this set of recommendations will support you in experimenting, embedding and cultivating collaborative culture in your context. You can access the recommendations report and the other CoLab resources on the project website. To know more about the CoLab project and on how to improve collaboration at school, we invite you to consult also the other open educational resources and reports.